Time to get Monday drunk. fan of tart. What are we drinking today, Mr. Sean? This is New Glarus Raspberry Tart. Uh, New Glarus makes very pungently tart. Whoa. Fruit beers from Wisconsin. It's a very revered Wisconsin brewery. You got Central Waters, and then you got New Glarus. They both wow. fill it. And they're no stranger to the drinking the indigenous berries. Yeah. Whew. All right, a little behind the scenes. Here's a little secret for you guys. Hashtag alcoholism. We always have a side beer. <laughs> and I, oh, yeah. I think I'm gonna be drinking. Please don't be mad at me for drinking my side beer, but whew, I'm gonna need something to wash some of this heat down, I bet, and mm -hmm. this tart boy, oh my God, that is a bit much. Oh wait, that's not my side beer, that's an old beer. This is my side beer. You're an alcoholic. Uh, He's not wrong. Well, this is a Fuego Box video. You're here because you're a fan of hot sauce. If you didn't yeah. know, Sean and Corey got a little partnership with Fuego Box. <laughs> if you were somebody who supports this series by Patreon, by buying stuff off the website, or if you were somebody who cannot financially support creators like that, but you do need to get somebody a gift, or you yourself loves hot sauce and you're fine, financially supporting your own taste buds, you can still help us by eating hot sauces. It's a pretty good deal. Fuegobox.com forward slash with cheese. You get 50% off your first box. Oh, come on. Sean and Corey go, listen, we're not doing the 10% off. We're not doing $5 off. Like, Step it up. Fuego Box and number six with cheese go way back. Let's do 50% off. And they were like, that was our idea. And we're like, oh, so what's our first sauce? So we're starting off first with hot mama salsa. And it's an El Tamarindo hot sauce. Uh, we're talking about some serrano peppers, some rice vinegar, onion, water, organic, organic agave, syrup, see, man, bro, this is just so many good things. You sounded so pretentious. I only eat organic, organic <laughs> agave. Dude, I'm excited. We've n I've never seen this before. Is also, this chicken grass fed? It's organic. <laughs> oh, man. Damn, bro. For serrano pepper, that hits spice immediately. I love serrano pepper. Me too. Mm. That's so tasty. Wow, is that good. That heat comes at the end pretty good, too. It's not mild. Mm -mm. I guess it is called hot mama salsa. <laughs> come on, go, come give hot mama salsa a little sugar. Wow, this is probably my favorite. Usually the green salsas, they're usually our serrano pepper, which I love. Right. But usually they end up being a little milder than this. Right. And I like that this has got all the flavor and the kick. This is so dope. That, Holy crap. I'm not kidding you. Top 10 hot sauce of all time. That's really good. It's in my top 10. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It might be in my top five. It's definitely, I uh, up to this point, this is probably my favorite green sauce that we've had. 100%. That is really good. Killing the Verde game. Mm-hmm. That's Spanish for green, you dunces. <laughs> Why am I yelling at them? They're supporting us. What do we got second to bat? Second up, Fife and Goods, Hachi sauce, kimchi inspired hot sauce, shake and share the goodness. So when we were uh, pouring this in, Corey went, Holy Asian smell because yeah. when you walk into like a dim sum restaurant, that smell is what this is. So I'm going, I'm going deep in this. Cheers. Cheers. That's literally dim sum. That's like what you dip stuff in. Really? Mm hmm It's really not for chicken wings, I'll be completely honest. Yeah. Mm hmm That's like a dumpling. Like you dip a dumpling in that pork dumpling, steamed. Mm hmm it's really not chicken wing sauce. Yeah, I'd love to try it out because I bet you with the, the bread, mm -hmm. everything would kind of even out the flavors a little bit better. It's not for chicken wings. Yeah. But I do love it. So, also, dude, I'm not kidding you with the price of dim sum. Like, we mm. had seven to eight different things on the table. Our bill was $30. Wow. If you did that at a bar and restaurant, you got a little bit of everything, all the apps, you'd be like, oh, cool, $98. Yeah. It's so much food, we couldn't eat it all for True. 30 bucks. Even when we were in downtown Honolulu at Chinatown in Hawaii, we got all this food, it was $30. Do they bring it out? Is it like, is it like 
Like if you get all the appetizers, every appetizer is like almost like a full meal. It's for two people, there's always three or four things on that plate and they're big bready things. Okay. So you're full and it's everything's like two or three dollars. Wow. You want five uh, steamed dumplings, you want uh, pot stickers, four bucks. It's all wow. so cheap. All right, we're moving over to the world of Carolina Reaper. But this- I did not like that. I know. That's gross. It's, it's not for, that's a very different way to try it for the first time. Yeah. I can tell. <laughs> it's just not like, that's okay. It's not built for that. That's a bummer the first time you yeah. try that. Yeah, anyways. Yeah. All right, this is somehow only four out of 10. It's got Carolina Reaper in it. It's only four out of 10 hot. I washed that out with tart. Uh, this is- The honey must uh, get over there and attack the heat, the heat blasters. Honey, apple cider vinegar, and Carolina Reaper pepper. This is hot hide spicy blossom honey. Wow. Cheers. Cheers. I don't want to drip. There we go. Don't drip. Don't drip. Check it out. Mmm. Yeah, there's really not much heat. That's really good though. People who actually watch the show like aggressively, they know I love honey and chicken. It's obsessed. I'm the guy who grew up dipping uh, McNuggets in honey packets. Yeah. So. Right. And this is like a Fuego box, one that they're actually like making and partnering with companies, which is really cool. Like you start as a box aggregator and then you just start making your own stuff. That's yeah. the dream, man. Mm -hmm. Make your own product. That's so cool. That That's awesome. delicious. That's just a good, if you like honey and spice, but not too much, put that on whatever the hell you put honey on. Yeah. I wonder if people ever like, you know how they'll put honey and tea? They're not feeling mm -hmm. well. Put a little bit of that in there because you the spice helps with your throat. Yeah, it's kind of like spicing up a Bloody Mary, I suppose. Right, it's kind of the same wow. concept, you know? Really getting drunk for most of the time solves a lot of problems. It also oh. starts a lot of problems. True. But it does end up solving them. That's a good point. Right. To alcohol, the cause of and solution to all of life's problems. Yeah! All right. Hey, aren't you that guy from that other thing? From what? Podcast shout out, podcast shout out, podcast shout out. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we have a podcast, and we do it with our good friend, Laugh Factory comedian, Zach O'Ryan. He's hilarious, he's funny, and so are we, believe it or not. Sometimes, mainly on the podcast. Yeah, so if you guys want to go listen to us, 60 Minutes, comedy advice, questions submitted by viewers of the show, a lot of bizarre stuff is said to us, and also a lot of like just cool entrepreneur stuff. So if you want to learn, and you want to laugh, and you want to just like get more of us every week, if you want to know more about us, that's the space to check out, for sure. Nailed it. All right, on the count of three, pick your favorite sauce. Before we rate it, can I say? Yeah. Sick shirt. Oh, thank you. My buddy DB, uh, he's got a company called Midwest Kids, and I was like, you know what? I feel like I gotta buy a shirt off the website, so I got one, and you know, I know I look good. It's like, so I, dope. I, I know I do, and it's like it's a problem, because I'm walking around with my chin like Just very up. Looking you know? so boss. Yeah. So what happens when you throw on Midwest Kids gear. People like, there's a reason LeBron James is wearing Midwest Kids sweatshirts on his TV show on HBO. That's true. Yeah, Kanye sporting Midwest Kids. I mean, small names. No big deal. So and Sean Ely. Check it out, Midwest Kids. And Sean Ely. <laughs> It's a really sick, you should check it out. Check out the Instagram and check out the store. We got a vlog coming out in the in the soon time, so. Okay, pretty sure no schwein gonna pick. I would gladly pay you Tuesday for a hamburger today. But on the count of three, pick the hot sauce today that you like the most, and if you grab it, you know what? You might get it. All right, let's go ahead and just do this. Uh -huh. So one, two, <laughs> I was like, how is he gonna overcome this boundary? Ooh, by cheating and going before three. I'll take this one. <laughs> Boom! This yeah. was my favorite. This is your favorite too? I wanna somehow cut that bottle in half. Right? And then like, we can each just chug half of it. Yeah, chug it, suck it, suck it, <laughs> chug it. That is so good. That is so good. I thought that was gonna be my favorite going into this, yeah. but this was even better than honey to me. I know. I'm gonna bring this in a little side canister to a dim sum restaurant. Just like, I brought my own. Yeah, I'm gonna go, sir, you can't. Throw obviously. it at a train or something. <laughs> Get it out of my face. No, Take it all the way down to Cermak. <laughs> ah. um, you guys, once again, if you wanna support this show and grab a Fuego box of your own, fuegobox.com forward slash with cheese, that'll give you 50% off your first box. That's a huge savings, and we get a nice kickback. They really are amazing, too. They really do put out the best. I mean, you guys seen the videos. They put out the best. Stuff. And they could very easily give us less money per order, and they just, they like this show a lot, too, so that means a lot. So, honestly, hit them up. Do give it. one to a friend. It's if a I gave gift. you three hot sauces, that's how we got it. These were curated for you. You were like, no, uh -huh. dude, I don't want this gift. What? Oh, come on, dude. What the heck? 
You're the best. I also got you this best friend bracelet. <laughs> Woo! All right, we, we got this as a gift. We did. From Danny so. Hunt, King of Box. Danny Hunt's. Uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow and Wednesday and Thursday and Friday for brand new episodes of this show. Go support the podcast, and we will see you Tuesday morning. Sure. I'll have a tardy kind of drink. Ugh. So gross, dude. Thank you for every mail those to us, though. <laughs> yeah, I think it was just lost.